What's a scam that's become so normalized that we don't even realize it's a scam anymore? Child support for active black dads. But hear me out. Two people get together and have a baby. Those two people break up. They co-parent well together. He is financially providing as much as he can, but he still has to keep a roof over his head, food in his mouth, and a car. Because when the baby comes to visit, the baby needs somewhere to sleep. And when the mama needs me to come and pick the baby up, it's got to get in a car, okay? So the mother tries to find a way to fill the need. She goes down to DHS and she applies for child care voucher, families first, 10 care, only to find out in order to get those assistance or those resources, she has to put this man on child support, although he's doing above and beyond what child support is going to do. He's okay with it. She's okay with it. They go ahead and get this child support order started so she can get the assistance that they both need to take care of this baby only to have this man trapped into the child support system so heaven forbid his hours get cut back at work there is no modification for child support if the change is not more than 30 days so he gets behind that means eventually his driver's license is taken that means when he is racially profiled and pulled over driving he has no insurance he has no driver's license he's got to go to court there's court costs there's a financial hardship that is hard to get out of or if he's afraid of the justice system, just like a lot of men are, he doesn't go to court. The bench warrant is an issue for his arrest and he's arrested, taking him away from his job and his child. If it goes past that and he's behind in child support more than $1,000 in the state of Tennessee, that's a felony. They will show up at your job. They will show up at your house. They will arrest you and they will put you in jail until one, either a certain percentage of the arrears is paid, which you don't have. Otherwise, you would have paid it in the first place. Or two, they put you in a work release program. Sounds good, huh? It's not because when they put you in the work release program, they take a percentage of your income and send it to child support after they take a percentage of your income and pay it back to the state for your room and board and transportation because they are housing you while they force you to go to work for a felon approved workplace. You don't even get to keep your job. So if you was making more money at your original job than you are at this felon, felon approved workplace, they make you make less money and they still take out the same amount of child support and they take out a certain percentage to pay to the state because they are housing you and transporting you and you are away from your kid and the mom is still struggling to provide for this child because she's getting less child support than she was in the first place and now your bond with your child is in jeopardy and the mother is left to physically and emotionally provide for this child by herself sounds like a scam to me